leadership, quality, commitment, and service. Agave, over 40 years working for the progress of screen printing. Images, shapes, colors. The world of screen printing has a wide range of possibilities. Flexibility and quality. These colorful and vibrant possibilities become almost infinite when we enter the three-dimensional world. Highlights, textures, thick printing, visual effects. Visual appeal in tandem with texture. Sensations. This is what thick screen printing can achieve. A simple technique creating differentiated visual effects and functional products. The screen printing stencil is composed of three basic elements. The frame allows for a controlled tension level of the screen mesh. The mesh holds the emulsion layer and is directly related to the control of the ink deposit. The emulsion is the boundary that determines the flow of ink through the mesh and the spread of the ink on the substrate. This is the factor directly responsible for the quality of the printed image. We will now show the ideal process of preparing thick stencils. Aluminum frames are the most suitable due to their stability, low weight and durability. The dimensions of the frame should be defined according to the size of the image and the printing equipment available. The correct choice of mesh is extremely important. The mesh is the structure that supports the photographic layer, determines the ink deposit, and affects the print definition and resolution. The following factors need to be considered. Thread material. It is best to use a high modulus polyester mesh, also known as low elongation or high tensile strength polyester. These fabrics have excellent dimensional stability, providing good registration as well as great resistance to tearing. For abrasive printing products, for example, in the ceramic industry, nylon fabrics are the most suitable. Mesh count. The mesh count of the fabric determines the ink deposit on the substrate, and it is also related to the adhesion of the emulsion layer. For thick screen printing, we suggest coarser meshes. In other words, lower mesh count. For finer detail, use a mesh count which will ensure that the smallest dot of the screen is supported by at least two threads of the mesh in each direction. Thread type. Due to its precision and ink flow characteristics, only use mesh made with monofilament thread. Thread diameter. At equal mesh counts, the thicker the thread diameter, the higher the possibility for the ink flow to be blocked. Therefore, it is suggested to use mesh with finer threads and the largest percentage possible of open area. To obtain good results printing through thick stencils, it will be necessary to apply a more careful tensioning of the screens than with traditional screen printing stencils. Use pneumatic equipment or retensionable frames for better control of the final tension. Stretch the mesh with a final tension higher than 25 newtons per centimeter. All screens to be used in the same job should be stretched on the same day and with the same tension. For stretch and glue, it is recommended to use Decafix two-component adhesive, which provides a strong and permanent adhesion of all types of fabrics on wood, aluminum, or iron frames. 
After the curing time, the adhesive is completely resistant to all solvents used in screen printing. Agave also manufactures the Decafix Instant Dry Adhesive for those who need maximum agility. Before coating the emulsion, clean the mesh thoroughly to guarantee the uniformity of the layer, a perfect adhesion of the emulsion, and to increase the durability of the stencil. For the removal of greasy contaminants and dust particles, use Degreaser HB10 in paste or gel. Apply Degreaser HB10 on the wet stencil over the whole surface on both sides of the mesh. Rinse well, including the frame. After the treatment, do not touch the mesh. Then dry the screen. The adhesion of the end can be improved using the abrasive paste HB12. Besides cleaning, the abrasive paste HB12 increases the surface area of the threads. A perfect thick print requires a stencil with the following characteristics. Stencil thickness, similar to the desired ink thickness. Enough flatness to correctly limit the ink flow in order to guarantee the perfect copying of the image. Sharp edges that are independent of the mesh structure, even for coarse meshes. High resolution to guarantee fine detail reproduction. The correct choice of emulsion is extremely important for those who require quality and expect excellent print results. Unifilm 3D is a pure photopolymer emulsion specifically developed for thick stencil in the textile, ceramic, and industrial market. A simple easy and economic method for preparing thick screen printing stencils. The advantages of Unifilm 3D in comparison to capillary films and the traditional emulsions are amazing. Due to its high viscosity, it does not run down or drip during the coating process, allowing the buildup of thick layers without intermediate drying. Its high solids content guarantees a low thickness loss during the drying process. The high definition provides sharp edges that are independent of the mesh structure, even for coarse meshes. It is not necessary to add any sensitizer. Unifilm 3D comes ready to use, and it can be used for up to two years. Even for thick layers, the exposure time is very short. It is about ten times shorter than a stencil of the same thickness made with a traditional diazo emulsion. It provides long print runs due to its perfect adhesion to the mesh. The Unifilm 3D emulsion is used for printing thick layers with plastisol, gel, silicon, water, or kerosene-based inks and glass powder, or special inks for the ceramic industry. The emulsion Unifilm 3D Solve is indicated for printing with solvent-based inks. It is perfect for industrial applications, printing of text, in braille system, electronic components, and motor gaskets. With Unifilm 3D, it is easy to obtain the desired thickness with any mesh. The use of Unifilm 3D is simple and practical. However, it is very sensitive to light. Therefore, work only under yellow light during the whole stencil preparation process. The infiltration of white light in the working area can cause the hardening of the emulsion impairing the wash-up. It is extremely important to build a layer of uniform thickness on the print side of the screen. With Unifilm 3D, it is possible to get the appropriate layer, either using an automatic coater or through a manual process. For manual coating, use Agave Applique. 
This tool has removable plastic ends for easy cleaning. Its ergonomic profile allows the ideal coating angle. It is made with anodized aluminum with two types of edges for different coating thickness. Use a coater long enough to cover the whole image. Never use a small coater in parallel passes. This will create layers of irregular thickness. Coat the emulsion with the stencil in the vertical position, slightly tilted. Slowly apply four coats on the inside, that is the squeegee side, filling the mesh with emulsion. Then, in order to avoid air bubbles on the stencil, scrape the excess emulsion from the print side with another coater. This collected excess emulsion should be kept for subsequent use. After that, Without drying, apply 6 to 18 coats on the squeegee side, forcing the emulsion to the outside, creating thus a thick layer. In order to obtain a more uniform emulsion layer, reverse the coating direction every four passes. The more coats on the squeegee side, the thicker the emulsion layer on the print side. For example, for a mesh of 53 threads per linear inch with a diameter of 150 microns, coating eight times on the inside will generate a final thickness of 535 microns of dry layer. Coating 16 times, the thickness will be of 820 microns. And if one coats 24 times, the thickness will reach 1,110 microns. For the same application process, the final thickness depends on the type of mesh. For example, 12 internal coats on a 53-150 mesh creates a stencil with 675 micron final thickness, whereas on the 81-100 mesh, the final thickness will be of 475 microns, and on the 107-80 mesh of 355 microns. During manual coating, the thickness can vary slightly depending on the amount of emulsion loaded on the coater, the stencil angle, and coating pressure and speed. For a perfect control, a thickness gauge should be used. To select the correct coating method, please refer to the final thickness table for several coating methods on several fabrics in our technical literature. The information is also available in our site at www.agabe.com. Try the emulsion with the stencil in the horizontal position and the print side down. Do not try it at temperatures above 120 degrees Fahrenheit. The thicker the stencil, the longer the drying time. For a very thick emulsion layer, it is suggested to leave the stencil drying overnight in a dry, clean, and dark place. The emulsion is completely dry when the emulsion becomes translucent. The perfect image reproduction depends on the following factors. Positive. It is necessary to observe the quality of the positive. The black areas should block the light rays completely. The clear areas should be transparent and free of dust and dirt. Avoid using laser printed translucent films. Due to the characteristics of the thick screen printing process, certain details are difficult to reproduce. Practical tests are recommended to define the smallest detail that can be reproduced. As an initial reference, it is suggested that the smallest dot should be larger than twice the thickness of the stencil. Place the positive on the print side of the stencil and fix it with transparent adhesive tape. The opaque layer of the positive should be in contact with the screen printing emulsion. 
For a reliable copy of the original, keep a perfect contact between the positive and the emulsion during the exposure. It is advisable to use a vacuum frame holder. Light source. Unifilm 3D should be exposed to a light source which emits lights rich in ultraviolet rays, such as metal halide or mercury vapor lamps. For a good image reproduction and a uniform hardening of the emulsion, the distance between the light source and the surface of the stencil should be at least equal to the diagonal measurement of the screen. Larger distances reduce the loss of image resolution. The use of several tube lamps produces a diffuse and unfocused light, therefore making these inadequate for detail copying. Exposure time. The exposure time is extremely important because it determines the definition, the resolution, and the durability of the stencil. During the exposure, the print side of the stencil reacts initially with the light rays. After some time, the hardening also reaches the inner layers of the emulsion. If the exposure time is insufficient, underexposed stencil, the squeegee side of the emulsion layer will not be completely hard and will peel off the mesh during washout. If the exposure time is too long, overexposure, the light diffraction will cause the loss of detail and of edge sharpness. The correct exposure time depends on several factors. To determine the ideal time, use the Agabe Test Positive for thick screen printing stencils. This test positive is composed of three parts. Graduated grayscale. To determine the ideal exposure time, expose a stencil with the Agabe Test Positive during a period of time thought to be correct. Wash out and observe the grayscale. On white fabrics, the ideal time is obtained when four steps are anchored on the mesh. Three for fine details or five for longer print runs. In case the steps fall outside of the limits, use the correction factors to reach the ideal time. Straight line scale. To evaluate the sharpness of the image, Observe the strip of straight lines with a loop and evaluate the image edge quality. Triangular scale. To measure the loss of resolution, identify on the scale the location of the triangle vertex. Each mark is equal to the loss of one hundredth of an inch in resolution. Always use the Agabe Thick Stencil Test Positive a simple and accurate way to determine and control exposure. There is also a practical way of achieving the right exposure time. Using the water drop test, attach the positive to the print side of the stencil with transparent adhesive tape. Expose the stencil to ultraviolet light for a short period. At the end of this first exposure, without moving the positive, wet the squeegee side of the stencil with one drop of water near the frame edge. Wait a few seconds and feel if the emulsion is dissolving. If it is, the exposure time was insufficient. Dry the stencil and expose the stencil for additional time. Repeat the test and gradually increase the exposure time until the emulsion on the squeegee side becomes firm when wet. Record the total exposure time, summing up the various periods. At this point, wash out and observe if the smallest print details are visible. If they are not, the ideal exposure time has been exceeded. Expose the next stencil for a shorter period, aiming at the balance between hardening and the level of details obtained. In the Unifilm 3D literature, you can find exposure examples with several types of fabrics and stencil thicknesses that can be the base for initial tests. Wash out the screen evenly using a soft water spray over both sides of the whole stencil.
Wash until the image fully appears and the non-exposed areas are free from residues. Use higher pressure only on the print side. To guarantee uniform washout with details, it is suggested to rotate the screen, spread the water in several directions. Stencils with very thick layers can be left submerged for at least 20 minutes prior to using water jet. The use of slightly warm water helps to dissolve unexposed emulsion. Verify the finer details to evaluate if the exposure time was correct. If the stencil is underexposed, the anti-veil HB70 can be used to fix the emulsion and to keep the residues from running down in open areas. After washing out, apply the anti-veil HB70 on the stencil while still wet. Begin on the squeegee side using a soft sponge. Wait some seconds and rinse it. The anti-veil HB70 acts instantly, fixing the emulsion and increasing the resistance of the stencil while not impairing its reclaiming. Dry the stencil completely. For hardening of the emulsion layer and to increase the stencil resistance to abrasion and water-based products, use hardeners HB72, HB76, or the catalyst HB74. Before printing, block the open areas not to be printed. For plastisols and water-based inks, block the screen edges with HB20 Aqua Blockout, water resistant. Rapid or normal, HB20 Blockout is recommended for printing solvent-based inks. Seal the edges of the stencil, registration marks, and the scale with the blockout chosen. Dry the stencil with hot air. Agave produces a complete product line to enable screen reclaiming without damaging the mesh. Use ink remover HB52 to eliminate any ink residues that create a barrier blocking the action of the stencil decoder. Apply the product using a nylon brush and wash it with running water. Following this step, use stencil remover HB50 paste or gel to remove the emulsion layer. For best results, wet the screen with water and apply HB50 paste or gel on the squeegee side. Leave it on for a few minutes. Do not let it dry on the screen. Wash it with running water and use high pressure water on the squeegee side. To remove the so-called ghost images, mesh threads dyed by the printing ink. Use alkaline remover HB54 mixed with ink remover HB52. Apply the remover HB52 on both sides of the dry mesh with a nylon brush, followed by the alkaline remover HB54 mixing both products on the stencil until the stains are fully covered. Leave it for 15 minutes. Wash the stencil well using running water prior to using high pressure jets. You can find all detailed information about how to apply the cleaning products in the technical manuals and material safety data sheets. Maximum flexibility. Any thickness, any mesh, any number of prints. Unifilm 3D and Unifilm 3D Solved 
the easiest, fastest, and most economical way to prepare thick stencils with the quality you and your customers expect. Now you know how to get amazing prints. Agave products. Maximum results without complication. Agave high quality screen printing products has a technical team to help you clarify any questions and implement a reliable process for manufacturing thick screen printing stencils. For further information, please visit our site www.agave.com. Agave, more than 40 years, amazing and assisting its clients.